Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on April 14th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, extreme weather, and disaster alerts from around the world. Focusing on earthquakes, volcanoes, our sun, as those two small fiery uh, spots on the sun disappeared and the outgoing sunspot stayed pretty active here. You can see large plasma filaments erecting from the sun as those loops were being ripped away. Thanks to all of the new family members, I'm happy to introduce channel memberships coming soon. So stay tuned for a video with all the details. That's pretty exciting stuff. And we are really close to 10,000 members as well. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Looking here at Lasco 2 image, not much in the way of space weather. Looking here at a real time solar wind, and we're steady around 360 kilometers per second. Have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. Most recent here, 5.1 in Amagro, El Magro, Chile. A lot of earthquakes there recently. Dominican swarm, Idaho swarm, California shaken. As well, looking at these earthquakes in Micronesia, 5.0 here, and as well, 4.3, Marianas Trench. And pretty sizable, 6.0 in New Zealand. And that was late last night. If anybody joined in the live stream, thank you. And now here, Tajikistan with a 4.3. As well, Albania with a 4.1, five kilometer depth throughout the European plate. Still watching quite a bit of deep earthquakes around the world, looking at the last seven days you can see a lot of the red and a lot of the white are elevated. We've got a deep earthquake movement, deep earthquake event happening right now. And South America seems to be, or sorry, North America seems to be the only place where the shallow quakes are occurring. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Something is bubbling underneath. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes being updated, Popo, uh, Nevados de Chilean in Colombia, as well as Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Sangay in Ecuador, Asosan in Japan, Dokono in Indonesia, uh, Kushina Bijima in Japan, as well Krakatoa, Era, and Kerinchi. This is all in the last 12 hours getting updated. Pretty active day for volcanoes. Stay tuned to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I'll be posting my volcanic activity report. That'll be coming up later this evening. And if you want to get into the live stream, please feel free. Come on in. We are live right now. Overlooking Central America, a lot of heavy rains throughout Panama. And as well, watching a system that is scooting across northern Florida panhandle. Also watching this intense system through South America, Paraguay, and Bolivia. Heavy rains and storms. Same with South Africa. They're dealing with a lot of rain as of late. You can see that strong system building there. South Africa. As well, watching a lot of rain and precipitation, cloud cover. A lot of it form over the Tibetan Plateau, and that is where they have the largest weather modification station in the world. That's right. They cloud seed in that whole plateau. And we're looking at all this moisture now that is developing. Monsoon rains are on their way. Micronesia, Indonesia. Across the United States, as I was talking about, there's tornado warning reported just three, eight minutes ago. Jacksonville, Florida, so stay aware, prepare Jacksonville, Florida, as a line of storms will continue throughout the day today. Strong low pressure system in the Gulf as well, deep, hidden, so stay aware, prepared. 
Could be something developing later in, in the week. Looking at all these flooding conditions across the United States from Texas to North Carolina, South Carolina, Central United States, both Dakotas, and as well Minnesota, Iowa. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected by these flooding and extreme weather events across the United States. My friends and family, my prayers are with you. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, overlooking home base Calgary, Alberta. Cold temperatures moving in quickly and sweeping across the nation. And as well, snow, we've got about five, maybe 10 centimeters of coming in the next 24 hours. And some pretty cold temperatures, minus 14 on the backside of that system. And then watch as high pressure convergence line develops a strong line of rain across the states. And then as I was talking about later in the week, watch a sneaky little low that is hanging out, deep lower level low, hanging out in the Gulf. Big shout out to Dan Extreme Vocals. I gave him a little peek of that last night. If you want to see that, come check out the live stream. Five-day forecast, Atlantic provinces. Winter's far from over there as well as cold temperatures are invading and bringing snow with it. Across Europe, Eastern Europe, you got a large low pressure system and snow affecting Finland. High pressure ridge locked over Great Britain. And a pretty sizable low pressure system later in the week that's going to be affecting Japan. Could bring some torrential downpours, to northern areas. And as well, looking at the massive low pressure system in the Pacific Ocean. They're getting bigger, they're getting stronger. I've been reporting for three years now. High pressure ridge in place over Hawaii after some rain moves through the next couple days. Overlooking New Zealand, heavy rains, coastal regions, west coastal regions. Overlooking Australia, high pressure ridge in place. Cooler temperatures to the southeast, but dry throughout. Over the Indian Ocean, watching a tropical development here. It is an area of interest right now. That thing might head straight north to India. Overlooking Africa, South Africa, cooler temperatures and rain throughout the week. Coastal regions, Mozambique. Zimbabwe, heavy rains, South America, watch for heavier rains straight from Paraguay up through Bolivia and into Panama as these storms continue to rage across South America. I mean, it's daily evaporation rain, but there are some intense areas that are receiving torrential downpours. And then, of course, flash flooding events and landslides happen after that. Leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Thank you all for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.